Midway through 2021, I started using a new Bedrock launcher that was just released by Cargem. This is honestly just one of the best launchers that you can get for the Bedrock Edition right now. And the best part is, it's completely free. When I first started using this launcher, I was like, finally, there is a Bedrock launcher that works exactly the way that I want it to, in the way that it should. Usually when it comes to Bedrock launchers, they don't really work exactly the way that you want them to. And sometimes you may end up losing your worlds or your research packs or anything else that you may have inside your game. But the cool thing about this launcher is that you can make installation. I remember that Foxy no -Tail did use a version of a launcher that he made and he used Mr. MC arms program as well but I remember that you were able to make profiles which is what I absolutely loved from that program but it wasn't flawless because you could still lose some of your stuff whenever you make a new installation you got yourself this folder icon and it will take you to where all your stuff is but the cool thing is that they're all in their own individual folders so if I were to click on my profile right here we have all of the different profiles that I've created you want one for old minecraft only then you can do that you want one for add-on testing? You can do that as well. Or maybe you want one for only betas, where you can also do that. And all of your stuff is going to be absolutely safe within those individual folders. But that doesn't mean that you can go without making backups. I still recommend making backups. And a cool thing about this is that if you're in the beta program and you want to play regular Minecraft with your friends, well you do not have to leave the beta. Because if I click on new installation and I click on this, as long as you're within the beta program on the insider of, you'll be able to switch between beta and non-beta without ever needing to go to the insider of and leaving the program. You stay in the program and you can go to any version that you want. Now when you're creating up a new installation, you can change your icon just like the Java edition. You can choose whatever name that you want. You can choose the release version and it goes all the way from the latest beta all the way down to 0.14 for the Windows 10 edition. But however for 0.13 and below, these three versions actually do not work. You can also choose your directory but I recommend keeping it on default. I also want to mention that if you do percent app data percent, which is usually where the dot Minecraft folder is, you know, for the Java edition, if I click on enter, we get ourselves a new folder created up, which is called dot Minecraft underscore bedrock. And this is where you can find your catch, your installations, your versions, and all of the stuff that you had before you downloaded the launcher, that stuff is absolutely safe. It was not removed. All your stuff is in the default spot that you would have had to go to previously, which it would have been right here. And I'll also have it down below in the description. I would also like to mention that this does not require you to sign in with your Microsoft or Mojang account. So if you click on the profile and add profile, then you can go ahead and type in wherever you want and then click on create. And then you can make your own set of installations and stuff like that. And then when you click on that again, you can also remove that profile, which is what I'm going to do. So you do not need to worry about signing in with your accounts. Now once you have made your installation with the version that you want, go ahead and click on play. Then it will start to download that version of Minecraft. And once it's done downloading, it will extract and then it should start launching your game. I would also like to mention that Minecraft is not going to launch right away. You'll have to go to your start menu and type out Minecraft and open it from there. And in the skin section, we can actually import skin packs. So you'll be able to use different types of skins depending on the installation that you're going to. Then we have patch notes. So if you want to know what happened in a specific version, then you can find that change log, go ahead and select it, and then it will tell you on what exactly was added. We have nothing in the community section right now. Going up to news, this will have all the news regarding Java and dungeons, and even the launcher change log. Going to settings, you can choose your language, and even the theme. The themes are just by far one of my favorite additions. Because if I were to click on any of these, then I go back to Bedrock Edition, we'll get ourselves a different theme. A few of my favorite ones include the console eras. So if I click on Mid Legacy Console, this was the one from Xbox One Edition. The original Legacy Console era, which a lot of you may recognize as the one from 360. The Late Legacy Console which was actually the one from the Wii U. I think that Car Gems Launcher is a really nice piece of software and definitely something that you should consider getting. If you want to get this launcher for yourselves, then I will supply a link down below in the description. And if you enjoyed this video, then please consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and I will catch you next time.